We know that Scots law is not English law. What we have not known is that Scottish constitutional law is not English constitutional law. What we have not and, and what we should have been and our politicians should have been challenging for a long time now is that we have a provision that retains our constitution in Scotland and that constitution makes certain things Westminster does or has done unlawful. They're not lawful mm -hmm. in Scotland. We've not been standing up for Scottish law and we need to stop talking about, well, a referendum would be lawful or wouldn't be lawful. The question is, what is the Scottish law? What does the Scottish constitution say? What is lawful in Scotland? You cannot impose a foreign constitution on a joint partner in a union that is created by treaty. We are not a nation state. They have behaved like a nation state and that nation is England. This is not, and this is a sovereign state, but it is a combined state. It is, it is made of two separate nations and they have separate laws. That principle was accepted. The continuation of the Scottish constitution was, was accepted. And therefore, our government, our politicians, or rather our MPs, have needed for a very long time to stop repeating English lies, to stop repeating, oh, well, we were incorporated. No, we were not. Walker and Campbell have both blown that out of the water. Everybody's kind of carried on. It's not an incorporating union. It's an international treaty into which two sovereign nations entered. There were conditions made. Both constitutions were meant to continue. And therefore, we have Scottish constitutional law. And we need to stop behaving and talking and deferring to English constitutional law as if that were Scottish as well. It is not. And as a matter of fact, if that makes its way to the International Court of Justice, if it makes its way via the OHCHR to, to be heard, does Scotland have the right to have the provisions of this treaty upheld? Does Scotland have a constitution? Is it clear? Is it written? Is it codified? At least, you know, to this degree. The answer is there's no court that could find otherwise. We know that. So we need to be shouting that. As Alex Salmon said, we need to be shouting this loud and clear. And it will, unfortunately, take a massive civic movement. And it will take judicial um, test cases and so on. And it will take international diplomacy. But every single person watching this needs to know this foreign government, this foreign oppressor, will do whatever it takes to keep hold of Scotland. It will not just let us go. And it has already twisted the law. It has already lied and hidden and misrepresented Scotland's political, constitutional, legal history and status in order to do that. And now, now that it's done it, we're going to talk about what's lawful under, you know, under Westminster's constitutional provisions, which are not ours. No. We need to be talking about challenging them.